when we sign up to take our exam, we walk into the door. Our goal is to pass the exam and come out with that passing grade. But unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. I personally have failed my fair share of certification exams, but you have to go back and try that certification exam again. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to give you an advantage when you go back to take that exam again. When you click that last button on the exam to grade and it comes back and tells you that you did not pass the exam, don't panic. There are some things that you can do before you leave the building that are going to give you an advantage the next time you walk in. And the most important one is to get a copy of the exam results. You may think that if you failed, there's nothing you can do. You could just leave. You can not even talk to anybody and walk out. But before you leave, there will be a printout waiting for you that tells you the different sections that you did and what the grading was on those. So you can have an analysis there to understand understand if you're stronger in operating systems than you thought. Maybe you need to spend more time on hardware. Maybe networking is the section that you should spend more time on. But unless you leave with those results, you'll never know. Once you get out of the building, take those exam results and turn them over, grab something to write with, and take a lot of notes immediately. This will be the most important thing you do before you leave the parking lot. Take notes about the things that were asked of you. Make sure you make comments about things that tripped you up. If there are questions that you weren't quite certain about, make sure you write those down. Now, keep in mind that your exam agreement says that you can't share this information with anyone else, but you can absolutely use this information to help you study better for the next time you take the exam. Keep in mind that when you take the exam again, you're going to get a completely different grouping of questions. The content may be similar, but the questions asked of you are going to be very different. So don't try to memorize things that were asked of you on this exam. You should instead think about the topics overall and make sure you understand the concepts that will be asked of you in those sections. This may also be a very good opportunity to get some additional study resources. Get a book that has nothing but questions and answers inside of it. Or grab a different book to give you a different perspective on the content that you need to know for your exam. Also consider that maybe it's not the exam, maybe it's you. Make sure you get enough sleep. Make sure you walk into the exam with a good breakfast. It's those things you're always told to be able to give yourself the biggest advantage. You should be as comfortable as possible when you walk into that exam so that you can think about the topics being asked of you and you'll have the best advantage for passing that exam the second time through.